All right. I am testing out the uh, center point heat 425. I've been shooting it. I really like it. I got this on a uh, hot buy sale at uh, Dunham Sports for $329 with three bolts, a silent crank. Well, it's not a silent crank. The crank, which I didn't really care for, so I've just been using the rope cocker. I like that better. I'm going to throw some shots down. I got it 30. It's got the, the scope's not the greatest on it. I'm going to replace it with a, a Hawk, probably an XB1 or something. Um, but man, it it shoots nice. It uh, It's relatively quiet for a crossbow and it's fast and it seems to be accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and throw, throw a couple bolts down. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see very well. I have the camera kind of propped up at a weird angle. So sitting in the back of my my car here here we go 30 yards i don't have it sighted in for 30. i'm just seeing it how much drop it's got because this uh the scope that comes with it is not uh speed rated dang i was wiggling a little bit but that don't look too bad. It's uh, height wise is very good. Let's see if you can see me. Probably can't see me cocking it, but I'm cocking it. I didn't chrono it, but old dude passing by in the vehicle asking him if I'm okay. <laughs> I didn't chrono it, but uh, some of the online sites I watched said it's shooting with the 400 grain bolt that it comes with, shooting um, about 405, which is screaming as far as i'm concerned you can get 425 if you're shooting a 350 green bolt but let's go ahead and put another bolt down there That was me. Whoops. I was wiggling a little bit when I shot. Hopefully I didn't lose that one. I only got a mono monopod. <laughs> I don't know where that one went. Good thing they were the free bolts, but you can see how fast it is. I mean, you can't. I mean, 405, I don't care how loud your crossbow is. The deer is not jumping that at 30 yards. I also have a Excalibur Bulldog 400, which I really like, but I bought this, the idea of having my son shoot it, but I think he shoots, he shot the Bulldog last year and got his first archery buck with it and shoots it great. So I might take this bad boy over. Cocked, it's about, about 12 inches. Like I said, it's uh Pretty well balanced. I should have been aiming at the center. I'm using that top target. Here we go. I'm aiming for the center this time. I'm wiggling a lot. I need more steady rest. Let's go check it out. 
I'm uh, definitely shooting. I was wiggling quite a bit. You can see uh, I was aiming here. Hit over there, but I was wiggling. Then I was aiming here and hit over there. So I was getting a lot of... I don't know if you can see it. There we go. That's better. I hit... I was aiming here, hit there, and I was aiming here, hit there, but I was getting a lot of side-by-side -side wobble on that monopod. But height-wise, I got it set it in. It's just a just a hair high at 20, and that same pin shooting like dead on, dead on at 30. So I'm really happy with that. We'll try some more distance. See what see what we come up with. All right, I just shot it at 40. It looks like it's only dropping about four inches with a single crosshair. 20 and 30, 20 is just maybe an inch high, inch and a half max, 30 is dead on. 40, I'm dropping about that much. Jeez, that'd be easy. I'm still gonna buy the speed rated scope, but I mean, you could really shoot this single reticle. Uh, I mean, you could, uh, this is not a single reticle, it's multi reticle, but you could shoot it as a single reticle and just hold over. I mean, if you're shooting out 40, I don't like to take shots over 40 yards at deer anyways, not in the woods where I hunt. I mean, 40 yards, you could aim dead center and drop right in the heart. So here we go. Last shot of the night, 40 yards. The other one was dead center right and left. It, uh, just hit about four inches low of where I was aiming. I gotta lean up against the car a little bit, steady me. There we go. Yeah, I was wiggling a little bit, but. Height wise, looks good, I think. There she is. The uh, I'm pretty impressed with this crossbow, let me tell you. The uh, for the money, for what I paid for it, even you know, most other crossbows are three times as much almost to get that kind of speed, and I'm really impressed. Got adjustable cheek on it adjustable stock in and out for different shoulder lengths it's got a really comfortable grip uh really comfortable grip nice smooth trigger on it i love it well uh we'll see what happens when we actually shoot a deer with it